Hey guys, welcome back to Ancient Amnesia Podcast. This is Josh and Dave. Hey, how's it going, guys? And we wanted to come with a quick clip show, and we uh, we noticed what you guys want, what you're liking, and we like it too. Or we we wouldn't be posting it, right, Dave? <laughs> yeah, man. I, 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 um, pistols, and, stars, two of my favorite things. But we, you know, uh, I've I recently did a podcast over the Lanakia uh, kind of galaxy supercluster that we are a part of, and. And one thing that I hope that people start thinking about when they see us do uh, productions like that is that that we are still finding so many different crazy things out there and, and that you have to continue to dig to find out like what is in space? What are they finding? What are, you know, blue giants and pistol stars and red giants and what are, what are these galactic planes and how is stuff all coalescing and uh, this great attractor that everything's being pulled towards? Are we, are we really thinking about the you know this deep stuff that's out there and this pistol star thing that we posted recently um got a lot of uh, attention it's a blue hypergiant star it's one of the most luminous known in the milky way it radiates about as much energy in 20 seconds as the sun does in an entire year <laughs> okay it's stellar uh, wind is over 10 billion with the b times stronger than the sun's so I mean, it's it's kind of almost unimaginable, isn't it, Dave? Like what yeah. this what yeah. this thing is. Well, you know, it's like it, it it's a process that's going on. You know, really just around the corner from us. You know, but it's it's an unimaginable process compared to what we've seen. That amount of energy being released, you know, in that short of a period of time. Um, you know, I would imagine anybody or any planets around that that were even remotely inhabitable or just charred husks, you know, from the radiation. Um, so it's not like I, we're gonna go there and find people or uh, some, I'm sure we'd find life of some kind, something can live in that. But uh, man, that's just incredible. I mean, those those numbers, you know, right. 10 billion the, times. The, what, and what is stellar wind? It's same, uh, it, radiation, right, basically? Yeah, yeah, I, would, I think so. I mean, it's saying that the pistol star lies near the Milky Way's hot and violent but metal-rich galactic center, which which we think is a is a black hole now, right? We think right. this center is being a black hole. So here's a an object, a hypergiant like sun object that is near the center, um, and it, it's pumping out all that energy in deep uh, within its central bulge of the the galaxy where this thing is located. It's an extremely luminous and massive star. It was found in ni- 1990 at the center of the Pistol Nebula. It is so massive that it was conjugated, then later confirmed to be thrown off so much mass to have created the surrounding nebula. So this is one um, object that has created a basically a nebula around it. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's 4.8 light years wide uh, and um, the it's nebula, the light, right? it's, the nebula it's the, itself. The nebula it, it, and this this kind of energy, of the star is is um, encompassing. It's the brightest known star in the Milky Way. That's and, incredible. And, uh, so here we go. We're looking at. I mean, the Milky Way is is home to you know billions of stars. Now, is um, that it on the bottom left there? That that blue dot. Is that what we're seeing there? Right in that in that image. Um, I I have is next to the quintuplet cluster near the um maybe it's it's the brightest subject on that on that in that picture yeah it's so, it's five percent of the entire area that it's in you know i mean it's like gigantic based on proximity and age the pistol star appears to be a member of the four million year old quintuplet cluster so it's young um located only about uh, 6.5 light years two parsecs away from it um the quintuplet contains a number of smaller but similarly hot wolf rayet stars what are wolf rayet stars there we go um, they are uh very hot massive stars uh, with a high rate of mass loss so they're strong broad emission lines with equivalent um widths of a thousand astronomical meters which I, we have to figure that out uh, arise from the winds of material being blown off of these stars so they're apparently they're divided into three classes on their spectra um so i think that's astronomical units maybe yeah i think so that would be but, 93 million miles times 1000 
it's unbelievable. I mean, it's 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 actually something that is really truly hard for us to even wrap our mind around. So when we think of what's going on out there, you yeah. know, we also have to kind of really open our minds to all possibility. I mean, you know, this is this is a this thing exists in a natural form, just like anything on planet, right? In in, in our biosphere, we have um, kind of laws and mechanics that are set in motion that are creating and 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 having a due process to manifest life and we're a part of that process you know we are uh, involved in this kind of manifesting bio diverse world and and this is just another part of that because we are the world is itself a part of a larger system now so the fact that something like this exists is is just unbelievable i mean we're talking we, about something can, can we assume that uh, our star uh, our sun was at some point possibly um like one of these um yeah i don't know what life cycle it would be in um is it possible but, you know it might have been one of these at some point where it might be um you know creating stuff like this you know i mean it's just you, you got to think that are these things going to remain this large forever are they going to shrink down are they going to become a planet um, it's saying here that this particular star has blown off two expanding shells of gas equal to about 10 solar masses. The, lar the largest shell is four light years wide and would stretch nearly all the way from oh my God. Um, the sun to Alpha Centauri. Um, the two gas shells are estimated to be about 4,000 and 6,000 years old. So this just happened. Yeah, uh, it's just like last week in, in stellar terms. Yeah, so so they're watching this thing. Um, it, it it's about twenty five thousand light years away from us. The, uh, from the perspective of Earth, the region containing the star lies at the western edge um, of constellation Sagittarius. So, you know, if you guys have any any really good telescopes, I mean, first see if you should be able you know, to see it, right? You should be able to see that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, we just wanted to basically. Um, cover a really quick thing on the pistol star what it is how large it is where it is and and just contemplate a little bit about uh the universe and, and just the magnitude of, of all this stuff because it is it's something that um that's it's nature it's just nature outside of the planet <laughs> and i feel it, really small right now josh there, yeah there could be you know there could be who knows what uh what other life forms that a star like this could be helping grow or manifest in some way you really have to just let everything kind of open up. You can't really make any assumptions. And and I hope this humbles everybody. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show. Please go to Ancient Amnesia on YouTube uh, and check out all of our podcasts. We hope you enjoy them. Please comment. Please share. Please subscribe. Go to our Facebook page. And if you want to join us in discussion, go to Ancient Amnesia Discussion Group where you can join in, share your knowledge, and have some fun with like-minded people. Until then, we'll see you next time. Take care, y'all.